Hey guys, it's Genevieve and in this video we're going to learn how to import custom brushes into Procreate. The only thing you have to do to import new brushes into Procreate is to locate the files on your iPad. No matter how you get the files on there, so it can be from an email, from a website, you can airdrop them to yourself, they're always going to end up in the file app which has a blue little icon. So go ahead and locate that on your homepage and just, just tap on it. You'll notice in the bottom of the interface, there are two options. There are Browse and Recent. Just avoid the recent one because there are some bugs that have been reported which people cannot unzip files if they're in the Recent section. But if you stick to Browse, you should be A-OK. -okay. If you only have a few folders and a few files just like I do, you'll probably see the one that you're looking for straight away. But if not, you can just use the search bar at the top. For this example, I'm going to use the watercolor brushes that I created for my watercolor toolbox. And you can see the files right here, so just go ahead and click on that. And you're looking for a file that has the extension brush set. It should have a circular Procreate logo on top. So in this case, it's right here. We're just going to click on it, and it's going to import straight into Procreate. The new brushes that you import are always going to be at the top of your list. You can see I have a bunch of, um, a bunch of that one. but it's always going to be on the top. And if you have a lot of brushes, you might have to scroll up a little bit just to find them. But once you do have them in there, they're ready to use straight away. So you can just start drawing whatever you want. 